Let's learn how you can easily create this opening or closing curtain animation in Blender. Okay, here in Blender, I will select A and delete everything and start with a plane. I will go with R, X and 90 to rotate the plane on 90 by 90 degrees. On X axis, go to front view and this is how it is. Okay, first we need to go here to physics tab and just transform this plane into a cloth. So now if you press play, nothing happens actually in the plane going down because the gravity is pulling it down but we don't want that first i will go to face edit view for example it doesn't matter go to subdivide and subdivide it 50 times the more the better for the simulation of the cloud but it's more heavy for the calculation of everything for your processor so find the sweet spot i will go with the 50 and i will go to the vertex here and select the first one then shift and select the fourth one Practically, I'm skipping every second vertex here and I will go with Control, Shift and Plus on the numpad keyboard here until I'm reaching the end. Perfect. And now I will save these vertices. So I will go right here to Data and Vertex Group and add this group and say Assign. I will name this to Pins, for example. And now that I assign it, I can always click wherever I want and select it back. So here I will click on this last one I would press Shift S and go with cursor to select it. Now that we have cursor here, I will change the transformation from medium point to 3D cursor. That means that whatever I'm doing, uh, it will pull or, or move or rotate out uh, the object from the 3D cursor. So if I press R to rotate, it will go like this. You will see why I'm doing this. But before that, uh, I want, again, if you press play, it will fall down. So let's fix the curtain to something, to these points here that we selected. So let's select it back. Okay, let's go to the physics tab and go back down there to the shape. Okay, for the shape, for the pin group, I will select our pins. And already, if I press play, you can see it's hanging. The cursor is hanging on those pins. That's perfect, you can see small animation here. Just the fabric is stretching and that's it. Okay, now I want to go to collision and enable self collision, so that's perfect. And now if you just want to create the curtain shape, you just need to pull one slider and that's it. So to the shape here, go to the shrinking factor and just pull it a little bit, however you want to experiment, what kind of effect you want to achieve. I will go with this number and this is it. This is how it looks, maybe even less, maybe, 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 maybe something like this, all right? Perfect, you can try whatever you want, maybe a little bit more. And it doesn't look much, but now if you press right click and shade smooth, it's already better. And also if you go here to modifiers and add subdivision surface modifier with two subdivisions, it's already much better. So before and after, perfect. Now we can again simulate and we have really nice curtain. You can add materials to this and use it for your windows and use it like that. But how to animate the opening and closing the curtain, really simple. So for that, I will go back to the physics and go for shrinking factor back to zero. Okay, so if you press play, nothing happens again. And now we will go back to data tab and here to shape keys. We will add one shape key and now these are selected. We will add another key. Okay, and now we'll go to frame 20, for example, and set this value as a keyframe zero, just click here on this diamond, that's it. Now let's go to the frame 40, for example, and press, and if you set all the way to one, nothing will happen because we didn't animate anything. You can see here, let me show you. If I press play, again, nothing happens between these keyframes. So in order to something happen between these keyframes, let's go, just go right there and, and let's go right here, select this keyframe X and remove keyframe we need to go to the vertex edit mode while all the vertices that we pin are selected, press S, X, and just scale it down to the 3D cursor, however we want. So for example, something like this, that's perfect. And this, this will be our value number one. So just on frame 40, go to one and select keyframe. And you will see now if I press play, voila, animation is really cool. Maybe the Opening of the curtain is too fast. If you want to go slower than this, just select this keyframe and drag it, for example, on 60. So let's press play. 
that's really really cool now we can go to frame 120 for example and here just repeat this keyframe and to 160 don't don't bother about this 160 let's go back to the zero if we go back to the zero you will see what happens if we go right here and press press play it will close open the curtain and then hang a little bit and then close it back to the completely stretched material so if you don't want that if you want to close it a little bit more like uh, these this kind of shape so just go right here to frame 116 instead of zero give it a little bit maybe something like this and press i to insert keyframe and now let's go back and press play so opening the curtain hanging a little bit and then it's closing and we have this really cool shape this is how simple and easy it is if you want to add any kind of material to it you can do that also let me show you really quickly if you go here to the physics and again to the cloud you can add different presets so you can add either silk silk is cool for this so let me show you how silk looks see a little bit different behavior of the behaving of the material also if you go for example to leather it will be completely different so leather is more stiff the animation will be a little bit slower but you can see it's completely different so if you go maybe to cotton or rubber let me show you. rubber will stretch probably yeah rubber and see it's stretching a little bit more and jumping because it's yeah it's rubber so whatever you want or you can go with your own presets and just experiment with all these settings i like to leave it on silk or cotton cotton is also really good so this is it i think this is default settings i'm not sure but this is how it is also you can add materials so let me show you really quickly right there to go to the shader and uh, add a new material i can name it however you want or leave it like this and you can go here for example and change the color any color you want or what i like to do it is to add this kind of material let's go here to scale to 100 uh, to 100 not 10 and it's really nice fabric material here so if you want you can either screenshot this let me show you or you can just go to my patreon and download this uh, blender file with material and with this uh, cloud simulation for practice so the link is down there in the description also you can add even more here you can add any kind of text or logo to the curtain whatever you want it's really simple and easy let me show you how to do it so find any photo you like i will use my logo here and just put it inside the base color and this is how it looks if we now simulate this okay it looks like that but let's go here and add a little bit of the environment texture for that i will use hdri for from uh, polyhaven.com so let's go with this one for example and i don't want to see the background so i'll go to film and transparent and that's it and now you can see how it looks it looks like this perfect that's cool and uh, but i don't like it mm, it's okay but i don't like it i want to use the red color or any other color with the logo so how to do it we need to use mix color note here so put this to b put this to a perfect this is also cool and you can go with the alpha to factor and this is what you get so you have the logo photo and all other fabric part and if you want to change the color of this you don't need to go inside this let me show you a quick trick go with hue saturation value node and just put it here and just change the saturation and you can have any color you, you like with this really simple and easy and this is what you have also if you go all the way here and uh, mess something up with animation the really cool thing is especially if you have more complex animation is to go select the cloud go to physics and go all the way to cache um, set the start and end frame and just set bake the bake process is much faster if you have complex uh, simulation than the, just press the play on a timeline and wait for that so now everything is baked to uh, the cache here and this is how it looks 
you can either go and uh, render this or I don't know, do whatever you want. This is how it looks if we add a camera like that and just uh, go, I like to go from EV to cycles, from CPU to GPU, we can render this out and this is how it looks, really cool, really nice. And you can render out the animation and instead of opening the curtain, you can close it and have something like this. If you want to learn the power of clot filter in Blender, then check out this video. See you there.